While putting your publication together, you may find a need to reuse elements. And these elements may be placed in different locations of your layout from one page to the next. In these cases, Scribus provides the ability for you to store a collection of elements such as images and text content in a scrapbook. Content stored in a scrapbook can be accessed across any number of documents and is available every time Scribus is started. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at using the scrapbook in Scribus. So let's get started. Welcome to class. A scrapbook in Scribus is pretty much what you would expect. A collection of items you've saved that are available to you every time you create a publication. Let's go over an example of why you would want to create and use a scrapbook in Scribus. Let's say we're creating a newsletter, and in our newsletter, we're forecasting the weather. In the section of our document where we are making the forecast, we want to use icons to display the weather. And we don't want to have to keep creating icons every time we create a new newsletter. So, what type of icons might we have? Maybe we would have icons for sunny, cloudy, and rainy days, right? The same concept of using consistent icons would also apply in the newsletter if we provided information about horoscopes. Again, we might want to be consistent with the icons used for our astrological signs. Another use for the scrapbook may be to store custom brand images, social media images, or text content that is consistent across your publications. Having a scrapbook that contains these types of elements could save us a lot of time. Let's take a look at a few of the preferences we can set for our scrapbook in Scribus. The scrapbook feature has a few preferences that can be adjusted. You can view these preferences by selecting File, Preferences, and then Scrapbook. These preferences include sending copied items to the scrapbook automatically, keeping copied items permanently across sessions, saving item previews, which are generated thumbnails, and identifying the number of copied items to keep. The default settings are usually acceptable, but if you feel the need to make some adjustment, now is a good time to do so, and then we'll select OK. If you don't already have the scrapbook control panel open, let's go ahead and open it. We can do this from the standard menu by selecting Windows and then Scrapbook. The buttons across the top of the Scrapbook control panel will allow us to create a new scrapbook, navigate up a level, import from an older version of Scribus, or close the currently selected scrapbook. By default, Scribus should provide a single scrapbook called Main. The scrapbook can be thought of as just another directory on your computer, so you can create any number of scrapbooks. Let's create a new scrapbook. From the scrapbook control panel, select the Create New Scrapbook Page button. This will open a dialog that will allow you to navigate to a location on your computer and either create a new scrapbook folder or select an existing folder to store your scrapbook items in. When you have your folder selected, click the Open button in the bottom right corner of the dialog screen. You should now see your newly created scrapbook which is the name of the directory we just created. So now we have this brand new scrapbook we just created, but we don't have anything in it. So let's create a few things to add to it. Following our newsletter example from earlier, 
it might be nice to have a few icons that we can reuse over and over again to indicate the weather. So let's use the shape tools to create a few icons by grouping together a few standard shapes. We'll use a smiley face and a few arrows pointed in different directions grouped together for our sunny day icon. We'll combine a few different size circles to create a cloud icon for our cloudy days. Then we'll reuse our cloud icon and add a few modified circles and group it all together for our rainy day icon. Once we're happy with the icons we've created, it'll be time to add these icons to our scrapbook. We can do this by selecting each icon one at a time, right clicking and selecting send to and then scrapbook and then select the scrapbook you want to send the icon to. We'll be sending our sunny day icon to our weather scrapbook. After selecting the scrapbook, you'll be prompted to provide a name for your scrapbook item. As a recommendation, it's ideal to keep the name short. If you have your scrapbook control panel open, you should now see your icon appear in your scrapbook. Now we'll do the same for the rest of the icons. Now, we just added a few items to our scrapbook using the shape tool, but we can also add other types of elements such as images and text frames. I'll be adding a text frame containing our newsletter's weather section heading by creating a text frame, adding the verbiage, and applying our font styles, and then saving it to the scrapbook as well. Now let's add items from our scrapbook to our layout. There are a number of ways we can do this. From the scrapbook control panel, we can add an element to our page by double-clicking on the element or right-clicking and selecting Paste to Page. Additionally, you can click on the item with your computer mouse and drag it onto your publication's canvas. At some point, you may want to remove an item from the scrapbook. You can accomplish this from the scrapbook control panel by right-clicking on the element you want to remove and selecting Delete. You can also move an item to another scrapbook by right-clicking on the element you want to move and selecting Move, and then selecting the name of the scrapbook you want to move the item to. Using the scrapbook in Scribus is a great way to improve productivity and consistency in your publications. In this video, we discussed how to create, add, remove and use elements stored in the scrapbook in Scribus. If this video helped you or you would like to have us cover a specific topic in Scribus, let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.